Hey guys, Dave from Asset Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Asset Industrial 2288. This is a new improved model with a new uh, updated DRO and we'll run you through some of the key features of our Asset Industrial 2280. Now the 2280 is a 22-inch swing, 80-inch long bed, so 22 inches, 560 and a 2 meter long bed. One of the key features in our 2280 is it has a 105 spindle bore, so it's a really large spindle bore, 4 inch capacity, uh, giving it an all round uh, great capacity. Now also to the general size of the 2280 is, is quite good, so our operating height uh, for the user is a, a very user friendly lathe. Uh, now the 2280 series or the Asset Industrial Series has the new heavy duty Euro uh, full cast frame. As you can see there, this only just came out about uh, 18 months ago, so that's uh, Asset Plant's, uh, you know, the key supplier from this manufacturer to offer this to the Australian engineering uh, customer base. Now, also, uh, some of the, the key features that uh, operators love as well is the new retractable headstock cover, the uh, chuck guard cover, so that's actually integrated and safety locked, so you can actually slide that back and forth compared to the old chuck covers that actually come up like that and can leave it. This is a very user-friendly one. Uh, all of the acid industrial heavy duty lays are fully fitted out to meet operators' requirements. We've got two fixed eddies over there, one large and one small, and also a travelling steady just there as well. Starting from the headstock, uh, just over here, uh, as mentioned, we've got a 105 spindle ball. So you slide that back, and there's a 105 mil spindle ball straight through the headstock. So four inch uh, work straight up there. Uh, thread cutting, we always spec ours up. Look how user friendly this headstock uh, is. It's got the Colchester type sort of uh, speed uh, lever on it there as well. Now the thread cutting, we've got uh, four types of thread cutting. We've got uh, metric, imperial, DP and modular. So a full range of thread cutting and also um, feeds of course in two axis. Getting back to the headstock, uh, comes standard with a three and four jaw chuck. Uh, three jaw chuck has uh, reversible jaws, four jaw chucks from the back, we'll show you that later. And also a large face plate. Gap there, we've got covered lead screws on there as well. Uh, the headstock also has a inching button there as well. So it's in it's in a high and X, so it's in a, a high speed at the moment. I think it's about 1500. So we'll just, once we close that, we'll actually jog that. And you can actually jog that to actually get the machine going. Uh, all your controls is just over here. We've got um, one shot lube as well. So you just pump that lube button there and that lubricates all your, um, all your slide ways. The new tool post cover, uh, very user friendly as well. As I said, uh, you can put that back up, up in the upper position there as well. That's locked in. LED work light under here, so that the LED work light obviously just illuminates your cutting area. And look at the nice big um, uh, quick change multi set, uh, quick change tool post on this machine here itself. So that's the that's the tool post there. That'll actually take uh, 25 and 32 mil tools, uh, being a heavy duty lathe. Uh, we supply three of those with the machine, but we've got stacks others in stock we have a large uh, accessory um, uh, stock here as well. On the, the feeding system here we've got, uh, we've got the indexable sort of feed knockout uh, system there as well so you can sort of set these feed knockouts anywhere along the position and knocks the feed out as you're going. Uh, DRO, so we've got the, the new ES8A DRO so that's a two axis uh, Eastern digital readout so that obviously works in metric and imperial and gives you um, a nice, uh, nice viewing area you know, um, for the operator to sort of see where he's working. It's also travelling because it's mounted to the actual carriage itself. Tail stock over here, uh, we're in metric and, uh, and imperial, uh, but once again, we've got the spindle lock there, wind that out there as well, and you've also, ran the back here, it's got the um, hardener ground beds and also offset for the, um, the tail stock as well. So there's our 2280 lathe, I'll just fire that up very shortly. in the down position, close the headstock, interlocks with a the foot brake here as well, and we'll just crank this up. So. so there's our 2280 lathe, precision headstock bearings, the Royal Pre-Commission prize of Dispatch Australia Wide, and we have over 4,000 spare parts online to support our customers Australia Wide. So assetplant.com.au, thanks and have a great day.